Hello guys, so before I go shave, I s jump straight into Gwent and uh, today I want to play Battle Trends Druids deck which might look a little bit regular but then it has a beautiful card of Etheral. So I want to show you, because I'm sure, that Etheral can be played outside of monsters and the best uh, deck to play it in is Druids. Why? Because they have a lot of uh, small crowds that are to power. So each time you transform them, you gain three points, which is quite good, which is not bad. Uh, I also didn't want to go for like a fully boring druid. And I want to make the most out of Otkel by having to... by playing more Freya's Blessing. And I hope to find one from Trigger Runestone and one from Tris Telekinesis. So you can play four. That's not super. I, I In the past I played like seven Freya's Blessing deck, but this is not about the Freya's Blessing uh, deck, it, like, it's a nice addition. I also use uh, Havr Singer because uh, she got recently buffed and you also spawn Siren that can be uh, swapped with Eteral into another Eteral, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's it. The problem of this deck, it's absolutely greedy and has absolutely zero control. So if I face against another greedy deck, I will probably lose and uh, yeah, and some decks can absolutely just destroy me. So let's see how it will work on the ladder. Uh, I think you can find some improvements on this deck. I'm not sure about some of the pieces, but we'll see. Let's go to the ladder. La la la. Recently on the ladder, I just see different stuff. I don't have... Like I saw person on Reddit say that every second game is Nilfgaard. And this season I played, I don't, I didn't play many games, I played like 10 games or something like this. And I haven't seen a single new card. All I see is monsters. And, yeah, mostly monsters, but different monsters, which is good. But it's always been the case for monsters. Pa, 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 pa. Okay, what, we, what do we play against? Monsters, see? The problem is this is a greedy deck. And I told you when I was making the deck, when I show you where I showing you the deck, that this deck might be screwed by greed. We will see. We don't surrender yet. I think Halion we can get rid of. Oh, that's, that's good. I think that that's finally we can play Freya's Blessing in round one. Uh, Menace in Cultis is not a bad resurrect. It can be up to 10 points, that's not bad. We, uh, the other problem with this deck is consistency. I don't have, I pretty much don't have any. The only consistency is Crown Assembly, but that's not really consistency. Ooh, that's not a very good information for us. We can transform at least. We can go for a different approach and pass early. Because I don't have a Terra, I can s transform. Oh, maybe I should have Mully again this crown center. The problem is, I really wanted to have a short round against them, and they can just destroy me. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It's rude. I love self heater. Self heater is such a cute card. I absolutely love this card. Oh, they can destroy my self heater. Which gives them absolutely nothing. But they can do this. Crap! That's actually a very good... Oh, but the problem is they... Oh, they are doing stuff too quickly for me. <clears throat> okay, Nickers at least it's a good draw. They say you are what you eat. I can do this for more tempo. How can I help? 
Yeah. Freya's blessing is what I was looking for. Oh, I can do this with like selfie there, which absolutely gives me nothing. But I can do this, which is cute. Uh, let's buff Nikers. <clears throat> I need to remember to put rain on the range row. <laughs> to not fork this up. I don't know. Uh, this is actually good because I can fin. They can go Golden Necker. I wanted to say that they can be a Golden Necker deck. I know that Lerio played something like this and it, he absolutely destroyed Ladder with this deck. The relics... Uh, oh, it's absolutely disgusting because they also play... Not Mega Scope, but they also play the Tome. And the Tome just lets you summon all of these cards again. Oh, nothing died. So that was a very weird trial decree. Satisfaction guaranteed. The problem is they get five two points per turn still. I think I have to pass. Because I don't know if I can keep up with four points per turn. Yeah, I have to pass. There's no way I can keep up with it. Which makes me sad because I really wanted to play mm, the tome because it lets me fin. Look at this, 40 points. I cannot do 40 points with this hand. I mean, I can, but very slowly. <laughs> oh, that's a good draw. That's also a good draw. Uh, and that's another good draw. Okay, actually, my draws were kind of cute. Um. Fima Vendra is fine. I just don't want to draw another Crow Messenger. Okay, that's good. They will probably bleed me. Like, if I were them, I would bleed. Uh, I cannot deal with it. I don't want to resurrect Falblot Priest because if I resurrect Falblot Priest. I will just give it doomed, and I really don't want to give it doomed. I can do something weird, because I, I have it enough points anyway. And we can put another Freya's Blessing, so I have don't have to do anything, or I can do Crown Messenger. They can just pass and I cannot do anything about this, yeah. I think I also want to... Get rid of this. Or maybe I just get rid of this. Oh, I don't have alchemy card in my hand, so I can just slam this and nothing will happen. Okay. That's good. That's That was the plan. I said it incorrectly, but that was the plan, because I wanted to have this Crown Messenger to summon them. Okay. Can gamble on... Oh. Okay. But I think I will still want to go first with Crown Clown Preachers. I might actually overswarm myself. I think I am overswarming myself. That's the problem. The Seteral is not good at the moment. I cannot like resurrect Krauk Krau Messengers. Yeah, see the Necromancer tone. That's what I told you about. Okay. Maybe they will just overswarm themselves. Okay, we want to put uh, engines as fast as possible. Oh shit, this is a druid, so I actually lost two points. 
I forgot this is a druid. So I actually lost one point. Uh, two points. Because I wanted to hold Kraukan creatures to play engine, but this actually screwed my I screwed myself with it. Uh, do I need, am I gonna have yeah I can wait with much traffic because maybe I will get Strigibor runestone into another one that's like whatever they can they actually might overswarm themselves though oh my god oh this is fine this is fine because I'm gonna resurrect it do I go for runestone first? I think I do. Give the unit to the right. This is actually not bad, right? Okay, then we go for Otkel. Then we go for a Terral, and then we have Blue Boy here. Oh, actually, I don't want to... Blue Boy, because they just screwed themselves. I don't want to kill anything by accident. Why this is raw restricted? Why they made it row restricted? <laughs> Why? Why this is row restricted? Oh come on! Why this is row restricted? Why I have to be so dumb when I play my cards? Yeah, they screwed themselves. I don't want to play Blue Boy Lugos. They absolutely screwed themselves. I am not playing with my blue ball. We might win even though I pepegat with Otkel. And actually with Otkel I would have 1, 2, 3. Oh my god, 6 points plus this. Oh my god, I lost so many points. I lost like... 30 points or something like this. My home is wherever the road takes me. I lost so many points. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't playing blue ball. I ain't playing it. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Oh my god, that game was great. You have to be very careful when you play those kind of decks. To not screw yourself. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching for this beautiful deck. I think that showed the power of the deck. Okay, maybe I will play one more game. Okay, now let's try to focus. Let's drink a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now let's not play Otkel on the mirror row. I just wanted to make space for him, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just try to play our cards on the correct throw. I think this deck, yeah, can do a lot of points. Ooh, a Squirtle. At least not another monster. But movement has some damage, which is annoying. Okay, we can resurrect this, which is good. We got a Terra, which is pretty nice. It's actually pretty good. Don't need this at the moment. 
don't need this. Crown Messenger. Um, okay, that's that's fine. I can discard something, which is fine. So I play it out to bait their remo removal because it's gonna be super easy for them to remove it. We play this. We draw this. We get rid of this. We transform. There we go. Ten points a turn. And now it's gonna die. Wait, it didn't die. And the forest is me. Uh, we can try to find another uh, resurrect. Wait, this is harmony. This is harmony movement. What the hell? Mm. So I can do this weird thing. Damage and then play a. Uh, was from your graveyard. Oh, I actually have warriors in graveyard. Oh, I actually can kill it. Oh my god. Wait, what? I can't? The play Pff, it's death blow. Scheiße. See, I, I don't play a lot of warriors. Oh my god, I misplay so much today. Maybe because I play like 20, 30 games per season now. I'm screwing a lot. That's unacceptable. Kill an ally. Okay, that, that's, uh, that's a problem. Now I need to... Where are my crows? I mean... There is one. That's like one point. I can also just play Mardrom on this, like, offensive Mardrom. It's not something I want to do, but I think it's fair, because, yeah, I will just do it. People don't re often forget that you can actually use it offensively. Mm. They had such a great scorch, no, no, no longer. Okay, good. I can now play this. Well, I have to play it. Like this. They actually gave me points. Which they don't know. Oh, that was actually kind of cute. Shame that the Terrals are not human. Hey, I cannot. I, I actually can heal it. This is actually cute. I can do this. Into oh this is not bad, but I think I will just. Uh, this is six points. This is seven. This is six. So the funny thing is, I will heal with my leader ability. So this is six. This is seven. This is six plus two is eight, right? Which means that I can do this! No, oh, actually, this sneakers is not bad. Yeah, that was actually quite uh, kind of cool. I actually soaked so much of this damage with this heal, and I created so many. This Eternal was great, I'm telling you guys. Even if I lose these games, see, if I, with just Eternal, I won the game. If I. Ooh, I wanted to say if I get Machine Truffle, I can just. To all them. And I think I'm gonna try to do it. I just don't need Halen. Ooh, that's a good draw. The only draw I would need is another druid, actually. Uh, I can gamble. Whoa, that's so good. That's actually so good. Here we are going for 2 0. <clears throat> the beauty of this 2 0 of, the, of this card is that if they 2 0 us, if they like remove uh, the crowd clan preachers, I can just resurrect them. Reach, reach the 
<laughs> this is fine. Also, I have this as a carryover. I go ahead, destroy this. No, don't hit them. Oh, they, it will hit this. That's fine. Because I want to transform them. Like, my hand is great for a short round and f to continue this push. I just use Freya's Blessings. That's fine. I can start with Hoover Singer actually. Because then every damage, every damage I take, I'll be watching you. Hey, the stupid heal. No, the heal screw me. No! <laughs> ah, this is fine. Every heal I take. Yeah, this is actually. If they cannot kill it, and I actually they have a lot of ways to actually kill it. Okay, this is fine. Okay, now it's 50-50. Okay, now it's no longer 50-50. It just dies. Bow before modern Freya. Man is an arrogant creature. And now my odd kelp can actually resurrect three cards. And I think I'll just do this. Okay, play it on range, Chris. Mother and, Mother and Crone. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Yeah, I have to play this card, right? Bow before Modern Freya. We'll greet him well. But fire and iron. Well, that's actually not bad. Uh, the problem is I didn't have enough points to, I think, kill them. The oh, maybe. Still upon my lips. Oh, I mean, they oh, still have a lot of points. But hopefully not enough. That's five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's not enough points. Pow, pow, pow! This deck is actually pretty good. <laughs> okay. Hey, we won two games. I'm actually happy with the results of this deck. You feel... It feels very good. It's like a cool spin on druids with this eternal. I like it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time for another crazy stupid Aztec.